This is a request from Gabriel Moreira. And he says, I need some tips on how to sound uh, like Mbira on my guitar. Chimurenga style. Okay. Ever since I started uh, posting tutorials on uh, social media on YouTube, I think that was around 2013, 14. I think I've posted more than 8 to 10 tutorials on Mbira guitar. If I do another tutorial like that, I'll be repeating myself and I'll be duplicating what's there already on the net. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you one style of playing uh, Mbira guitar that I copied from a guy called uh, Chiketsa. He was the lead guitarist in the first band that I formed in 1988. It was called the Sarungano Chanters. So um, I was the rhythm guitarist and I was copying a lot from this guy. But by the end of the year, um, we had switched places. I was not the lead guitarist. I suppose I had improved a lot. And then he became the rhythm guitarist and I became the lead guitarist. Yeah, so he had a style of playing that I really admired a lot. Where, um, um, which key can I use? Okay, for now let me use the key of F. What he used to do is um, he would put his finger number one as a pivot like this. And then when he plays, he will just use uh, finger number two, three, and four and the pinky to, to change the chords. But uh, the finger number one remained in place just like what a capo does, or just like what this nut does. Or for his F chord, he will just play it like this. Then for his four, which is B flat, he will just bring finger number two and three. Then back to one, which is F. And then for his uh, C, he will just bring the pinky and finger number three. And play these two strings for the, for the five. Or he would include string number one. That's his five. So what he will do is he will be playing and um, changing the chords and changing the notes, but without moving this finger. And I noticed that it, it allowed him to, to be free on stage. He could be looking in the crowd, he'll be smiling at people, and uh, he'll be joking with people, but he'll be playing. And so rungo tambas, like, uh, for example... So if you look at his left hand, it will seem like he's not playing. So for the one playing Bira style, you can use this one. For the one. Then for the four. Then for the five. For example... So I just call it the pivot style and I enjoy using it a lot, especially on stage. So as usual, I'm going to end with the gym session. Enjoy.
Monolio Studio. The harmony of quality and professionalism.